On 31 December 2019, there was a report from Wuhan Municipal Health Commission saying that there is an emerging cluster of cases of pneumonia in Wuhan. The causative agent was identified as Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome Coronavirus 2 or SARS-CoV-2. The virus causes an illness known as COVID-19 that can spread from person to person through droplet transmission, airborne transmission, or by touching any virus-contaminated surface or materials. Superspreader is a person who have higher chance to infect others when compared with other typically infected people, as it transmitted the infection to a large number of people. The situation can arise as they come in contact with many people in close proximity without wearing a face mask, sanitization, and social distancing. In the weekend, Ahmad goes to karaoke bar together with his friend. At this time, Ahmad already infected with COVID-19. However, it is difficult to detect as his body does not develop any respiratory-related symptoms or fever. They gather in a small private room with a very limited space. He enjoys singing, taking a lot of photos, screams, talking a lot to his friends in a close distance, which increased the chance of his friends to get infected. Approximately two weeks later, Julie and Razak started to feel ill, tired, and they even got a fever. Thus, they decided to see a doctor. Unfortunately, both of them are tested positive for COVID-19. After a few days, Ahmad, including the workers at the karaoke bar and other people that joined him in the past two weeks, are tested positive for COVID-19 too. This is how Ahmad can spread the virus and infect other people. This virus mediates an infection by using its spike proteins that will bind to the receptor known as angiotensin converting enzyme 2 or ACE2 on the host cells. During the early epidemic in Wuhan, the spike protein of the virus was encoded as D614. However, a new variant was identified which is known as G614. This mutation is then called as D614G. It is simply because this mutation changes the amino acid at position 614 residue from D to G. This new variant was first reported in Germany on January 2020. And by March 2020, it was detected around the world. This rapid rising immediately draws everyone's attention whether or not this variant having a fitness and transmission advantage over viruses with D614. Scientists found that the virus with G614 variant can shed more viral nucleic acid, have significantly higher infectious titers in vitro, and their spike proteins are more stable. These findings are consistent with epidemiological data suggesting the virus with this variant can transmit more efficiently. Scientists also found that the patients infected with virus G614 variant have higher viral load, where there is a significant shift on the cycle threshold, in which fewer PCR cycles being required for detection. Why does the mutation occur? Well, all viruses are mutating since it's a part of their natural life cycle. As the virus being transmitted throughout the world, it can mutate as it reacts to evolutionary pressure from localized populations. This can be due to different immune response or drug actives that use against the virus. We are going to talk about how disease enhances its infectivity. The first one we are going to talk about structural changes. This is the virus and zoom into the virus particle itself, we can see spike proteins. 
and we're going to talk about the normal COVID-19 first. In the normal binding of a virus particle with a cell, we can see that there is these two protein subunits trying to interact with the spike proteins and the cell itself. And then this is the mutated COVID-19. As we can see, the binding with the virus particle, there is no interaction with the protein subunit at all, as the mutation are structural in the spike proteins. The elimination of interaction between the virus particle and the protein subunit causes the binding to be efficient and faster. Second one is immunological changes. This is a single antibody molecule. And in a virus infection, your body, aka the human body or any host body, would produce neutralizing antibodies. The virus is inactivated by these antibodies produced by your body or it can be given intravenously in a antibody therapy. In a 3D model, as you can see, the virus literally is inactivated by the antibodies. And again, this is the mutated COVID-19. The mutated virus has a decreased sensitivity to the neutralizing antibodies. Thus, it would not be able to bind perfectly to the virus particle, making it harder to inactivate. Again, this is a 3D model. The virus are very much alive and free to infect other healthy cells. And again, all of these changes contribute to an increase of its infectivity.